It's Valentine's Day, so it's the perfect time to talk about the role love plays in revitalization. Love doesn't just affect the way we feel about people, but it affects how we feel about places. Some places are vibrant, attractive, and exciting, and other places are an instant swipe left. Uh, at the heart of it, revitalization is about creating economically sustainable communities, and we do that by fostering entrepreneurship and local ownership, but we also have to consider love and the role love plays in that. And too often we put all of our, our efforts into the economic development side of things, uh, which completely leaves love off the table and the emotional connection we have to places. We think that if we just foster some investment and bring in some jobs, our communities are going to be great places to live and all our problems are fixed. But that's not the case. You know, we have to foster lovable places first, and that has a benefit in every other facet of our communities and economies. Creating lovable places is about creating places that people want to be. Uh, we seem to think that in a lot of our communities that the only serious people are, are bankers or investors and numbers people, and so we let them make so many of the decisions. And while that has a role to play, uh, those decisions don't ever take in the, the emotional side of things. And we have to because ultimately people make decisions and people are emotional. If you think about tourism, Tourism is a very emotional decision. Where people decide to travel has everything to do with how they feel about a place. And tourism makes up 10% of the global GDP. Again, it's very emotional. So if you're not attracting tourists, if you're not lovable, your economy is taking a huge hit. It's also important to every business in our community and every organization, every entity. If the hospital can't attract good doctors because it's not a lovable community, they're going to suffer. If the university can't attract students or faculty, they're going to suffer. If the corporation or the manufacturer can't attract executives, it's going to hurt them. So the love really has a huge role to play in our community. But most importantly, we have to consider how our residents feel about our community. And we have to foster lovable places to make sure that, that people have a positive relationship with their town. Uh, you know, residents that don't love their community aren't going to get engaged, they're not going to care, they're not going to be concerned, and they might not be as inclined to take care of their own property, business, homes, yards. Uh, ultimately, if people don't love their community, they're going to grow apathetic, and apathy is a community killer. We have to do anything we can to combat apathy, and fostering love is the best way we can do that. Now, there are a ton of resources out there uh, about how to foster more lovable communities, and we'll try to share some of those with you this week. But ultimately, I think what's most important to know is that if you want to foster financial investments in your community, you have to start by fostering emotional investments. So if you need some help in learning how to make your community more lovable, please reach out. Revitalization isn't easy, and that's why we're here.